In my presentation today, my uh, topic will be the pomegranates. It's kind of, um, how, how could I say, the closest thing you could probably come to the fountain of youth, if there was such a thing. The pomegranates would be the trees and the fruit that would grow along the, the fountain of youth. Just because it's got so many amazing qualities, so amazing, unheard of things inside of it, besides just the awesome taste. Um, in, the, in my discussion up here, I'm going to be going over one, some of the mythologies behind the pomegranate, two, um, some medical uses of the pomegranate, and three, finally, my favorite part, the structure of the pomegranate. Now, one, mythology. It goes back to biblical, historical, first of all, I'm going to go to ancient Greek mythology. In ancient Greek mythology, Persephone, oh my God. Persephone, daughter to Ceres, I believe his name is, right here. Um, and this is a key point because it also goes to biblical, so I'll go over that. Um, was forbidden to eat of the pomegranate. She ate six morsels from the pomegranate and then was taken underground to the underworld to set for a sentence. And that sentence is now known, or what we've seen and felt, as winter, six months of winter. Back in those days, it was only 10 months, and not 12, so that's, that's how it worked back then. In um, Jewish mythology, um, there are 613 seeds, is what believed is inside the pomegranate. And with those 613 seeds, they, they correspond to the 613 um, commandments of the Torah. Other Jewish um, believers think that there are 365 seeds in the pomegranate. But we'll never know until we open one up and count them. We've got that kind of time. And in Christianity, in Genesis, the Bible says that the apple was the falling of Adam and Eve out of Eden. Again, this is where I um, tie it to the mythology behind Persephone and the Greek goddesses. There was Persephone, which is a woman, um, Eve, which was a woman, forbidden to eat of the fruit, and then served a sentence. Obviously, we're still serving it. Um, so this is why I put the apple up here because it looks very, very, very similar to that of a pomegranate and can be mistaken, which is believed by some Christians, that it could have been a pomegranate. And because of the underlining and awesome things that the pomegranate can do, the serpent back in the time could obviously have taken advantage of those things and if you believe that kind of thing, then obviously you understand why they ate. This was um, the Garden of Eden. And now coming into the medical practices, there are... Well, everybody wants to know what the hype is. Hopefully I, I made you guys wonder why the pomegranate is so awesome. Pomegranate has pretty much everything you'd want, and it would probably do everything that you'd want. Um, but it can't put itself inside of you. Um, there's a research that studies, uh, or a research that has given, was 45 people actually. They researched over 45, or 45 people for over three months. They gave half of those people eight ounces of pomegranate juice a day. And after three months, they recorded their findings, which was a 17% increase in their blood flow to their heart, which means the fatty tissues and the fatty discharges that are lined in your arteries, pomegranate juice helps fight that. And very, obviously, it's cardiovascular healthy. In other um, research, there is believed that it helps fight, not cures, helps fight breast cancer and pancreatic cancer, which obviously it hits personally home. So in my life, I'm incorporating pomegranate juice into my life. 
Um, and not just for that reason, but overall for the health, health reasons. In, uh, as Basque and Pagema say, in one to two cups of pomegranate juice has beneficial effects for type two diabetes, and the pomegranate is considered a pharmacy unto itself and uses, and it is used as an antiparasitic agent, a blood tonic, and heals ap apnea, diarrhea, and ulcers. Now, to the, my favorite part, the structure. First, we look at it, kind of looks like a grenade. The outer shell, uh, or outer skin, is called, let me see here, I don't have it. Oh, that's out, outer skin. The seeds are actually called the air, aerials, and they're encased inside of it by membranes, like a cell. And then uh, the lining of the inner skin, or the outer skin on the inside is the albedo. And I had planned to do this on Monday, I brought in a, pomegranate um, case full of seeds and I wanted to share them with you so we could all taste it. Which I was going to try and cut it and show you how much of them are actually going to spill out its awesome juices. There are plenty of things that you can do with it and in conclusion obviously incorporating pomegranate juice into your life so obviously it's going to make you a lot healthier. It goes back to the beginning of time. Um, we can use it in drinks. Uh, obviously, hopefully we're all of age for that. If not, you know, we stay with the juices and, you know, hopefully you guys get some um, benefits as I will using pomegranate, pomegranate supplements, pomegranate juice. Thank you.